My name is Andrew Eucles, wildlife expert and survivalist, and my mission in life has been to bring you closer to nature in a way that has never been done before. Now let me show you what it takes to become wild. Join me on a wild journey into the unknown, meeting industry professionals and inviting you into the secret world of nature. Hold on, Chuchi. This is going to be a hell of a ride. We're all born wild, but it's a choice to be tame. There are roughly 260 species of water birds found throughout Australia, with some of these water species migrating thousands of kilometres offshore in search of their migratory breeding grounds. Water birds in general are species that live in or depend on water bodies and wetland areas. This guy here is known as a cormorant or shag. With over 40 species found throughout the world, they are most commonly seen in wetland areas. It is here that they are home amongst the aquatic environment. Johnny! <laughs> Guys, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you how to catch turtles using cormorants. Now, ah, cormorants aren't exactly a specialist in catching turtles, they're more of a specialist in catching fish. But I'm going to be using them to get closer to the turtles in the aquatic environment. And soon you'll see that it's not only turtles I can get close to, it's a number of different species of wildlife, including swans and ducks and swamp hens and pretty much any other bird that exists on the water surface I can literally fool. Today I'm going to be teaching you a method of incorporation, essentially incorporating myself into the environment so I don't look like a threat. That will enable me to get closer to my target species being the eastern long neck turtle. All right Chuch, you ready to go? All right let's do it. <laughs> Using a prefabricated decoy cormorant, I've cut out the base to enable me to wear it like a helmet. Using a modified snorkel piece and a frontal window, it allows me to go incognito. But the question is, Church, will it actually work? <laughs> Well, having fooled every bird but this pelican, I'm slowly making the rounds trying to fit in with my new chicks. And these swans, church, are loving the glimmer of the feathers. Although you may think this system of approach looks easy, I'm actually struggling to keep afloat, and the swan's curiosity may be stemmed by the fact that this cormorant looks like he's drunk. But with some practice, I'm slowly becoming part of the flock and I'm eager to see if I can fool a turtle. I'm heading through the wetland area, venturing into smaller canal systems Lurking between the logs and the lily pads, I'm starting to get a sense of what it actually feels like to be a cormorant on the hunt. Keeping composed and questioning whether this method will work, it's only a matter of time until the cormorant disguise is put to the ultimate test. Oh, 
There we go, we did We did it, eh, Jordy? <laughs> All right, guys. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, you don't always get them first time, but if you're persistent enough, you'll get them sooner or later. Now, oh, let me just get my hat on. So as you can see there, it is a possible technique. Now, this guy here is known as the Eastern long neck Turtle. I'm quite home here in these billabongs, dams, streams, rivers. Anywhere where there's a water course, essentially, these guys can survive in. They're literally the survivalist of the deep. Now, this guy here, you can actually see the adaptation that he's got with the algae on top of his shell. Essentially, he's just trying to incorporate into the environment a little bit like I am as well as the stupid cormorant. Um, such a beautiful species. So these turtles here have a diversity of food types that they like to consume and essentially anything that falls into the water, anything that comes to the water surface that may die, any form of carrion, they're going to be consuming. So they're literally like the vacuum cleaner of the aquatic environment. So although these guys are the predator of the aquatic zone, unfortunately when they do travel across the land, they do have their own predators, including feral dogs, foxes and even cats. But this guy here is quite at home in the aquatic environment and you could, just, you could just see literally how difficult it was even to get up close and personal with him even when I was disguised as a cormorant. But finally, success will prevail. Hey, yeah, I got you. No, I did. All right, look at him. He's keen to go. He's like, I want to get out of here. I don't know what you are. Look at his little feet go. He's like, quick, please me. All right, guys, there you go. Go, take off. Go, 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 go. Alright, there you go guys, that's the Eastern Longneck Turtle. G'day mate, my name's Andrew Eucles and I'm the owner and operator of Eucles Wild Tours. To find out how you can become part of Australia's wildest experience, come find me at eucleswildtours.com.